Although we're a global publication, IEEE Spectrum's offices are located in New York, so sometimes we run into stuff that you don't often find in the normal tour books, but which we think a visiting techie might be interested in. So join us as we visit some of our favorite spots in our Tech Tourist Guide to NYC. So here we've come just a few blocks north of IEEE Spectrum's offices in Midtown Manhattan to Grand Central Terminal. This actually represents a major milestone in the way New York looks today because it's here where an electrification project took the trains from being steam powered with all that smoke and fume and dirt from the coiled boilers and replaced them with electric trains which are much cleaner and quieter. And they use this new under rail system which was a lot safer than having over rail lines. And as a result that made this whole area a lot more pleasant to be in and is responsible for actually a lot of the skyscrapers you see today because people actually wanted to be here. So next on tour, we come out to Bushwick, Brooklyn, specifically 199 Cook Street, which is the home of iBeam. And iBeam is a place where they're really trying to cross the boundary between art and technology. There are a bunch of programs and artist residencies and so on, but it's also a lot of really cool events for the general public as well. Uh, you know, iBeam is a space for experimentation and play and visionary thought, essentially. Historically, we've launched some major projects that have gone on to have uh, impact in the world, such as the first reblog button that was developed by the Open Lab uh, in probably 2001. We went on to launch the first feminist Wikipedia edit-a-thon that's now an international movement, essentially, that takes place in museums all over the world. And um, I would say if hopefully you're coming by during the months that we have our Welcome Wednesdays, just stop by, say hi. Uh, our residents will be happy to, to show some of their work and all of us on the staff will be happy to offer you a drink. While you're in Brooklyn, you might as well make your way to Burham Hill to check out NYC Resistor. This private hacker space has open craft nights for adults on most Mondays and Thursdays, but check the schedule on their website. Visitors are encouraged to hang out and bring their own projects to work on. In addition to open nights, NYC Resistor teaches classes on weekends for things such as circuit board design, intro to soldering, hand weaving and more. The space includes a wide range of tools, from basic soldering irons all the way up to a laser cutter. Just working inside NYC's resistor space will inspire creativity, especially if any of your projects have anything to do with blinking lights. So this time we've come a little further afield. We've taken the subway out to Queens and we're here at the New York Hall of Science. The part I'm standing in right now is this really amazing rocket park where there are some original exhibits left over from the New York World's Fair, including this original Atlas booster. And on top, it originally came with a genuine mercury capsule, which they discovered during some restoration work. That capsule is now safely indoors, but the booster is still out here. There's also a Titan booster which took the Gemini astronauts to space and a replica of one of the enormous F-1 rockets that took the Apollo astronauts to the moon. This is a really cool place for kids. There's about 400 exhibits here covering every kind of science and technology subject under the sun, maths and evolution. And there's a really cool permanent exhibit called the Connected World. There's also a lot of like hands-on things you can do here. We've got mini golf, um, but there's also a maker space. There's actually some places for sports. There's a design lab. And if you happen to be here in September, this is also the location of the World Maker Fair. So if you're visiting during that time, or any time really, you should definitely check this place out. So we're here at the Little History Center in the Hotel New Yorker. And when this place opened in January 1929, it was by far the world's most technologically advanced hotel. And there's actually two uh, real things of interest to here. One is there's an IEEE milestone for the world's largest private uh, DC electricity generation plant. When this place was built, they took in steam, they ran their own generator and powered this place themselves. Uh, it's also perhaps best known as the home of Nikolai Tesla, uh, who spent the last 10 years of his life here from 1933 to 1943. He was probably attracted by many of these sort of technological things the hotel had. It had the super advanced switchboard, it had this intercom system, it had a radio station. Um, so really like living in the future place and the man who helped us sort of make the current future world uh, lived here for many years. And you can stay in his rooms, which is the cool thing. He had uh, one room was kind of like a living space, the other more like a laboratory slash study. And today you can stay in those rooms. 
We're near the southern tip of Manhattan in what is now the Financial District. But back in the 19th century, this was a major manufacturing zone. The factories were the perfect market for America's first commercial electric power plants, with Thomas Edison opening the first plant in 1882 on Pearl Street. But he was quickly surrounded by dozens of competitors. All that's left of that frenzy of electrical entrepreneurship is this building, down a lane and hidden in scaffolding. Built in 1888 and now residential, it originally housed the coal fuel generators of the Excelsior Power Company. Excelsior was originally a steam company, piping steam through the streets to drive central turbines in factories. So it wasn't such a huge jump for factories to replace that central turbine with a motor and it was much easier for these like steam power companies to run electricity to the ground instead of steam. Eventually the Excelsior Power Company was gobbled up in the utility that still powers New York City, Con Ed.